Welcome to part 23 of the Basic Training Booster Pass Edition. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know to play Merry Mountain on 150cc. The recommended build for this course is going to be our usual try-hard build of Waluigi, Bitty Buggy, Azure Rollers, and Paper Glider. When the run begins, we're going to wait for a second and then do a wide right drift. After building up a mini turbo, immediately follow it up with a wide left drift to grab your first coin. We're then going to follow that up with a fairly wide right drift. The idea is to be on the right hand side of the train tracks and only widen your drift just as much as you need to to grab the three coins. Then left hop to release that mini turbo and trick off the orange boost ramp at the end of the path. You might have noticed that there's another path with a trick ramp off to the right. I did some testing and found that taking this path puts you about even with the orange boost ramp at best, but I usually ended up being a couple tenths of a second behind, just in case you were all curious. After that, we're going to trick off these totally inconspicuous trickable surfaces on the front and back of the bridge, and then prepare to enter a world of sh**. The basic idea is that we want to trick off this anti-grav ramp at the end of the path, and then mushroom through the shortcut. The problem is that we want to take as tight a line as possible through this, but doing so is much, much easier said than done. After coming off the bridge, we want to start a right drift to grab the three coins, and then immediately start a left drift to build up a mini turbo around the next turn. Now I'm going to pause the video here for a second just to talk about what exactly is about to happen. We want to build up a mini turbo before tricking off the ramp just in front of us so that we can get a little boost of speed when going off the ramp. The problem is that we have a really, really short runway on which to build up this mini turbo. This is why I'm kind of in the middle of the track and angled far to the left. Letting things run for just a second, you can see that after building up this mini turbo, I'm angled kind of far to the right. This is going to be a problem because if you just trick off the ramp like this, you're gonna run straight into the boxes as soon as you land. So the next step is to left hop out of the drift to release the mini turbo. However, now we're not angled far enough to the right to take a tight line through the shortcut. So immediately after landing from the hop, we're gonna to wanna to hold right on the joystick to move just a little bit to the right before tricking. The timing on this is so tight that you don't even see Waluigi's head move before the trick. The last step in this cavalcade of horror is to land in a right drift and then pretty much just immediately use your mushroom. Don't ask me why, by the way, because I thought for sure that if I held a hard right and let my cart take a tighter line that it would definitely put me ahead. But that 100% was not the case. I had to use the mushroom well before actually getting to the shortcut to make this work. Now that's it for the mushroom cut, but fair warning, I'm not quite done whining about this yet. We're going to come up on a long straightaway at the end, and you have two choices. One is to just drive straight down the track, and two is to do a series of alternating left and right drifts. Starting with a left drift, then a right drift, and then a left and finally using that last mini turbo to mini turbo trick off the ramp and finish the lap. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know exactly how much time these extra drifts save, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not even doing them properly regardless, but doing this seemed to always put me ahead of the ghost that I set before this that just drove straight down the hill, so I just made it a habit. Moving on to lap two, things are mostly the same as lap one, except for the very beginning and the very end. At the start of the lap, we're gonna do a couple of drifts around the first two turns and then delay a right drift around this long right turn to grab the two coins and avoid falling off the track. I don't think soft drifting is really required to get an ultra mini turbo here, but it does help make sure that your lines are good while doing it. You'll probably be angled kind of far to the right, so just do two left hops for some course correction. The only other difference between laps two and three and lap one is that at the end of the long straightaway, there's a glider. It's super slow, so if you're doing all the alternating drifts, then just use the last right drift to mini turbo trick off the left hand side of the glider ramp, and try not to miss the boost pad at the end like I do. Okay, so literally 30 minutes before this video is set to release publicly, Alberto randomly reached out to me on Discord and was like, hey, I can help you out with some strats on Merry Mountain, and he taught me a strategy for the ending straightaway that helped me cut my PB by almost a second. So now I'm going to teach it to you. After using your mushroom, take the cut as tightly as you can, and try to use some of your super mini turbo boost to jump over a bit of the off-road if possible. Then land in a left drift and build up a mini turbo, do a right hop to release, and then do a right drift. After building up another mini turbo, do another wide-ish left drift and aim for the right hand side of the ramp. You want to make sure that your cart is angled like this, because what we're going to want to do is quickly flick left on the joystick while tricking off the ramp. Your mini turbo will get released at the same time as you trick, and this will launch you crazy far. And the reason that we wanted that specific angle is that we want to land in a right drift and go over the orange boost ramp to do yet another mini turbo trick off the ending ramp. Now this strategy is pretty hard to learn, but it's unbelievable how much time it saves over the other strats I went over in this video. So I'd highly recommend trying to figure it out. And also, Alberto didn't ask me to say any of this, but he's helped me out so much, not just on this track, but on many others as well, so I'd really appreciate if you could show him some love and follow him on Twitch and maybe consider dropping a sub as well. 
I've put a link to his Twitch in the description so you can go do that. All right, let's get back to the rest of the video. So that's it for my strats, let's talk about the world record a bit. They use Baby Peach instead of Waluigi, which as we all know by now means more mini turbos and higher levels of mini turbo. It doesn't play super differently than I do, but there is one major difference, which is that they mini turbo trick off the left hand side of the anti-grav ramp before going through the cut, instead of doing the left hop out of the mini turbo and then tricking like we did. This kind of thing is possible with the Waluigi build as well, but the timing and positioning is so much more precise in the strat that we're already doing that I just kind of gave up on it after an hour straight of failed attempts. So that's all the strats, let's talk about the tracks some more while checking out my current personal best. And by the way, if you found the video helpful so far, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like and a comment on this video so that it can get spread to more people. Thank you very much, it really does help out the channel. Now, Merry Mountain, or as I've started referring to it more recently, not so Merry Mountain. I've mentioned in quite a few of my videos so far that I tend to have a bias towards winter theme courses. I used to wonder whether it was the winter theme itself or if it was just how those courses tended to be designed. And honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards the latter after having spent so much time on this track. I'm sorry, there's just nothing super memorable about the track to me. It's fairly bare bones, especially with that ridiculously long straightaway at the end, and between this, London Loop, Rock Rock Mountain, and Berlin Byways, I have no idea why these long straightaways are so popular in Wave 3, but I really hope they do away with it in future waves. Not only that, but you all saw this coming, I absolutely hated learning that shortcut. It might not look like that big of a deal, and maybe after finding the setup it's really not that big a deal, but I lost so many hours trying to figure out how to make this thing work. I'm telling you, just try it for yourself. It's really weird how seemingly minute changes in positioning lead to automatic time losses of up to just over half a second. I must have uttered the phrase, I just don't understand this strat so much that I'm pretty sure my cat could probably say it by now. The other thing that I think is objectively bad about the course from a design standpoint is how the quarter ramp pipe is set up. Since not only is it really slow, but the only thing that's up there is double item boxes, and I mean that sounds great, right? Cost to benefit kind of analyses like on Maple Treeway and London Loop. The problem is that if you're just drifting around the turn like normal, there's actually rotating item boxes there, with a stationary item box in the middle. And the boxes are spaced out enough that like on Donut Plains 3, you can easily grab two items every time when going around. So there's literally zero reason to go so far out of your way to take that quarter pipe. Now while Merry Mountain is my least favorite track in Wave 3, all that being said, it's really not that bad of a course, and is honestly probably a middle of the road for me in terms of how I'd rank it among the 72 tracks that we currently have. That's gotta count for something, right? And that's everything you need to know to play Merry Mountain on 150cc. One more quick reminder as to how painful that shortcut is to learn, because if this video helped you learn how to do the shortcut properly, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like to let me know. And also, you might want to consider subscribing since I do release a new tutorial every week. Thank you all very much for taking the time out of your day to do some basic training, and as always, I will see you in the next video.